All right, folks. This is the video, a video tutorial how, get, how to get started quickly and easily with Lime Survey uh, software for public uh, surveys. I'm so excited about this little piece of free open software that I decided to make a short tutorial. I know there is there are some videos in place, but I think you can, we can always improve, and this is my intention to do this and, and make a little contribution to your work. Uh, I'm, I downloaded this software, Lime Survey 1.8 Release Candidate 2, and I'm quite excited about this piece of work. Uh, but but prior to the beginning, I, I would like to show you, if you guys watching this video on YouTube, please add to the URL and the address line at FMT equals 18, and so you will get a better quality and performance of the video here on YouTube. And on the right hand side, you will find a down direct download link to the AV file or FLV file. I don't know yet which kind of format I will use but you can download the video in high resolution. <coughs> so, so before getting started, uh, um, I, I would like to show you the structure of uh, Lime Survey and how it works, and I think it is really important to understand how it works, and once you understood this, it is quite easy to set up a survey in my eyes. First of all, you need to define a survey name, Survey1 for example, and below this, goes the whole story. You have to define groups, and it was a kind of a little, or uh, kind of confusing for me uh, to understand what does this mean. It is not a, a group of guys or a couple of guys and girls. It is a group of questions. And once understood this, it is quite easy to proceed. You can f uh, define for each and every group uh, questions. And how this works, I will show you right now. This is the admin screen or the admin panel where we get started after having successfully installed this. And I'm not really an expert in uh, web designing or web applications, and I installed this software with, uh, in less than five minutes. So, and uh, how to set up the first survey? It is so quite easy, you can't believe it. Um, here on the right hand side, you, you will find always the same button in each and every category. In surveys, you can find the button, and it means with the mouse over, you get the description, create, or import new survey. Or you can choose one of the existing ones. And I, as you can see, I made already something here, but I will show you how easy it is to install the first survey. So, create an. Ah, uh, just one comment here. I made a sub a subdirectory and on my web space under my domain to 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 have it pu published and this is the domain slash survey that's the directory in this case and I recommend you to do the same or you can name it Lime Survey or whatever you want so create create or import new survey I will hit this button this is quite easy you can't believe it. This is the base language, English, and I leave it in English and not in German, as I'm coming from Germany, but it, it doesn't matter in this case, and I hope most guys of you understand the English language very well. Title of this survey, we will, we will uh, um, name this uh, video Tutorial Rating 2, because I already did one. Description is, uh, uh, this is to rate my video tutorial <coughs> welcome oops hi folks and create the survey so immediately the system shows you you need to add groups and you need to add questions down here and nothing easier than that now we have the next line below this survey and we can we can uh, switch from one survey to the other every time and now Groups, the same button as I already told you, add new group to survey, and I hit this. And I name this group tutorial, tutorial rating test, and description is, I don't know, I leave it blank or make some, some stupid things here, add this group. Now we got the next line, and this is named questions. 
and we have still the same button in place and now it means add new question to this group and this is what I'm going to do. I hit this button, enter the code for one for the first question and, 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 and set up the question. Please rate my video tutorial and help is please rate from 1 to 5 explanation 1 means perfect 5 means poor for example now you have a number of possibilities here and as I already indicated I want to have a five point choice question here in place. I make this mandatory, that means the participant cannot, cannot proceed in uh, the survey without answering this very question right here. Add question and that's all it is, the question is added. And now I'll show you another way of uh, question or another kind of question. Code 2 for the second question, please choose choose one choose one of of one of the comments comments only one please only one please as help and now I for example use this list radio buttons other means has the participant the possibility to choose other and not one of the uh, preset questions uh, answers and I, I say yeah, so he can leave a comment. Mandatory, of course. Where will I position this uh, question after question one? Because this is question two. I add the question and now we can test this on this button right here. I know I, I'm doing this very fast, but you will find it very easy once you look into the... Uh, ah, I forgot to, to give the answers. He said, warning, you need to add answers to this question. You can easily do this by hitting this button right here, edit, add answers for this question, or right up here. Up here you have to make sure that you are in the correct question, in the right question you want. And I hit this button and give them quickly some answers because I don't have any time. Yeah, add because time is running and YouTube is allowing only 10 minutes. And I show you what's going on here. And the third one, and you can have as many answers as you want to. Save all. I'm, I'm not sure if I have to, to hit this button every time, but I'm doing this to make sure it is installed. Test this survey. Next. And this is what it looks like. You can change the template and the design and the appearance of the survey with Aided Current Survey. I will do this for you, for example. Here under you, here you can add uh, languages and here you can change the appearance of this. <coughs> and you can uh, determine whether this should be published or not in the public list. And I'm doing this and end URL you can set up where the participant should be guided after having completed the whole survey. Save and continue. I have to hurry up a little bit because time is running. I s I'm saving this and I will immediately publish this up here. You can test this here and in this little play button you can activate this survey. And I'm doing this now. He is warning you again. I, I'm, I will confirm this and then I'm going to show you how it looks like in the real video tutorial rating 2, I hope this is the right one. Yeah, we have now another design and here you have your, uh, a progress bar. Please rate my tutorial, I find it perfect and I leave this comment or this and say this is useless, wow th that's bad and submit. And that's all it is. This is your first survey. So I hope you find it useful what I've done with this little video tutorial. If you have any, uh, if you if you like it, go to the YouTube channel and rate this video. I would really appreciate that. But most of all, I appreciate this work what the guys have done in uh, in uh, making this open source software available. And this is my support, and I hope you find it useful. I uh, wish you a good time and take care, everybody. Uh, hope to talk to you soon.
Bye-bye.